Hi guys, this video we're having a look at Fred Krueger or Freddy Krueger, but we're calling him Fred because he's not um, all scarred or anything, it's the Robert Englund look at Freddy Krueger um, of Fred Krueger from Freddy's Dead The Final Nightmare now of course he's in the packaging we've all come to know and expect from NECA with, with these Freddy Krueger figures uh, blister packaging he's obviously got his fedora there the Freddy figure a Nightmare on Elm Street at the top and a movie poster down the bottom here it says Freddy Krueger I personally think it should say Fred Krueger but um, Freddy Krueger, Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare and they've, they've put a little joke on here for us the, is it a joke? oh no no it's part of the poster sorry I thought they'd put it on there they saved the best for last yeah and of course a picture here of Freddy from Freddy 2 Nightmare on Street 2 um, sorry with regard to they saved the best to last I've got to be honest with you I was really excited when this film came out I had, a, had this poster on my wall really excited about it I loved it absolutely loved it when it came out this film but looking back on it now I just think it's terrible but um, I don't know what it is I, I absolutely loved it when it first came out went to the cinema everything couldn't wait for it to come out had posters everything but just didn't don't do it for me now when I watch it I'm so oh my god a couple of people liked it but anyway on the back it says a child psychologist is tormented by reoccurring nightmares but not until she meets a new patient with the same horrific dreams does her quest for answers lead to a certain house on Elm Street where an evil that defies the grave is about to be unleashed upon the world. So it's completely a nightmare and there's a picture of Fred Krueger and Power Glove Freddy there and obviously a picture of Fred Krueger there. And I, I, I would have preferred Necker to put all the different Freddies they have there just to give it a bit of a I don't know, just to give it, you know, a bit of that look. But anyway, um, this is from the latest series of Fred Krueger figures, Freddy Krueger figures, that comes with the Power Glove Freddy. So, that is obviously that. Uh, a look at the actual figure itself. Um, it's brilliant. I'm just going to take that out of the back, actually. I keep doing that, and the, the light is so glaring on there. Um can't really see very well on camera. Now that is a fantastic sculpt of Robert England. You got you, you can't deny that. Got admit that. It obviously comes with his fedora, um, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna have him with his hat on. To be honest, the, the fedora is exactly the same fedora you've seen a million times, and, and it also comes with a power glove, Freddy. Um, so yeah cannot fault this in any way whatsoever. I've been really looking forward to getting this ready. Um, he comes with the exactly same articulation we've had since the first Freddy. I'm just going to grab him there so you can see that there's nothing really new going on there to be honest in terms of the legs wise and the, the legs are all standard. Um, obviously got his, 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 his trousers are a lot lighter grey than we have seen recently. Now, I am going to make a complaint about this this figure, and a lot of you watching this probably go, oh, "That's a surprise! You're always bloody moaning." Um, but I personally would have preferred this figure not to have the exact same damage that the other Freddy figures has: the hole in the back of the shirt, all the frayed around the bottom, all frayed around the cuffs and around the neck. Um, and looking as dirty as it does, I would have preferred a cleaner jumper because this is just as this is just as damaged as obviously his, you know, from all the other Freddies. I'd have preferred to see in a nice, not a clean jumper, but without all the damage on it that he's gone through in years of, you know, stalking dreams. Um, but all in all, you cannot fault that sculpt whatsoever it's a, bit, it's a new paint paint job on the glove um actually using four different paints there or five including the black to be honest so not going to complain in that sense i'm just going to quickly grab the original so the original the springwood slasher freddy and you can see how much of a bigger figure that is straight away 
Um, so obviously this Fred Krueger looks more more um, size accurate to the other Freddies we got. This looked a little bit big compared to all the other Freddies. So yeah, and I, I just think it's a it's a better Freddy to be honest. I know you got the little doll with this one and he's got brown trousers on and all that, but personally this is this is an amazing sculpt I, I was over the moon with this couldn't believe how brilliant that is and you can tell exactly who it is straight away but now you've got this guy a hundred times better cannot fault it in any way whatsoever so let's get him back out of the way um, so that my friends is a quick look at the Fred Krueger from NECA Freddy's Dead the Final Nightmare 100% recommend getting this, even if you only have two or three in your collection. Personally, I say get this this one in your collection. Absolutely brilliant, faultless, love it. Um, so, as always, guys, thanks for watching. You take care, and I'll catch you again soon in the next video. All the best. Bye bye.